what is going on everyone this is your boy random arts coming with a quick video and on this video guys i'm gonna make a guide of how to be able to purchase brc20 token on the bitcoin network so before i get into it guys like always do me a huge favor and hit that like button leave a comment down below love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about brc20 token now, the reason why I'm making this video is because within my comment section, I've seen tons and tons of comment requesting this type of video. At first, I wasn't even going to make a video about it. But since you guys were requesting it, I thought I'd oblige and, and listen and just go ahead and make uh, the video. So before I get deep, you know, I dive into what you're going to need. Uh, just want you guys take a look at this uh tweet that actually came out by binance uh binance nft so binance nft has partnered up with bitcoin ordinals so brc20 tokens they're pretty much you know, ordinals um now i'll be the first to say i i am new to this so all the concepts as far as like brc20 i don't fully grasp but i am gonna still keep div uh, digging and diving in to be able to understand more but one thing i know for sure uh brc20 um that is going to be the next wave based upon what i'm seeing and how volume is starting to pick up on this uh the next set of news uh this actually came from a uh, partnership with uh Hubia, uh global they're actually partner up with unisat to be able to um you know integrate a unisat wallet which is a wallet that uh you know that you could actually have your brc20 tokens on so seeing that type of partnerships is and seeing exchanges centralized exchanges get interested in brc20 tokens um just further confirms my thesis and not only that you have this right here vmpx which was actually listed on a couple of centralized exchanges uh this week and this is a brc20 token as well so these are the listings of where it got listed at so again once i start seeing where centralized exchanges are shifting that is where i actually want to be as well too because they know something that a lot of people may not know here it is right here vmpx is a brc20 token currently trading at 12 cents but if we take a look at as far as with the marketplace, uh, it's actually trading at 26 cents. So to get right into the guide, I did have to just make all these uh, statements. Uh, one last statement I do have to make is, guys, please understand what you're getting into, guys. Don't just, you know, do it because I'm talking about it. Um, you know, for all I know, I could be 100% wrong about all of this. Uh, my total amount as far as invested into this is you know, a little over 100 bucks. So if my little 100 bucks goes to zero, then it goes to zero. So don't try to ape in all this and that. Get the full understanding first. So without further ado, so these are some of the stuff that you're going to need. Um, first is this website. It's called BRC dash 20.io so with that this website it actually tells you you know volume prices it's almost like coin market cap but this is for the brc20 token and again brc20 token guys it is uh pretty much a bitcoin based token on the bitcoin network now like we have erc20 which is ethereum token these are brc20 for bitcoin so these are all the uh, the rankings 24 hour market cap volume supply minted um so you have here brc20 brc-20.io next you would also need to have a unisat wallet unisat wallet you could actually go to their um website it's unisat.io and under there click wallet and from wallet what i did i downloaded the chrome um, um extension or you could download uh the github from 
I did uh, Chrome because for me it would be a lot easier. So I never did this one, so I, I wouldn't be able to help you on that part if you choose to do that. So you're going to need that. And now once you're setting this up, guys, very, very important. Go ahead and just put in my password. And now one thing about Unisat that I've noticed, it is, now it is during beta, it is very buggy time to time. So you may have to uh, re-put in your password and such and such. So, but one thing to know, like whenever you're setting it up, the type of wallet that you need to have when they say address uh, type, make sure it's a tap root wallet. So you make sure you select that because uh, this is the um, so pretty much this is what is going to allow you to be able to um, to be able to uh, trade on Unisat. Not only Unisat has a wallet, but it also has a marketplace where you could buy different BRC20. Um, uh assets so make sure you clicked on that so whenever you're ready now they did have a rule where you would you would um at least need to have let me log in you would at least need to have like 20 points um to be able to trade within their platform right so now i don't know if that's still in effect because i haven't uh try to buy anything else um but the rule was about 20 uh points so i would say try buying it first and if you get an error as far as you need to get the 20 points this is what you would have to do you would have to inscribe so remember you could try let's, let's go to bone type in bone boom right now you can get one point uh over a million bone the price of it is six hundred and seventy one dollars and eighteen cents and once your wallet is connected let's click buy it tells you your final amount that you can confirm now i don't have enough money to be able to do this type of purchase so hence why i oh, this is popping up greg um but if you get something that says hey you're out of points because normally your points would be right here unisat points and the way that you'll be able to get these 20 points is by inscribing is pretty much you're minting new tokens um so the mint and i'm gonna actually mint one here so what you, what i would do is click on this brc20 here and I'll find something that's in progress. So 100% progress means that these tokens has already been minted. So the people who got this already, they actually got it for free. Um, the only thing that they had to pay was just the gas to be able to get it. And you could have actually mint as much as you want, as long as you had the gas fee to be able to do it. So if we look at the price of already right now, it's at $16.46. So imagine, know somebody minted over 400 you know 425,000 at 16 dollars and 46 cents that's six that's 6.9 million dollars which in my opinion would be ridiculous because now already is currently on um coin uh crypto.com so so back to it. So you will need to go click in progress, find something. And this right here, I'm just going to actually mint it because before it was at like 71%. So I'll click onto that, mint directly. So the maximum amount, as you could tell right here, limited one, uh, 1,000 at a time. So since I only have about like, uh, I want to say I have like 17 or 16 bucks. I'll do, you know, seven times. So, so that's going to be 7,000. So I click next. Now make sure that the wallet for your, 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 uh, what is it called? T posts or got that. 
tap root. Make sure it's your tap root wallet. You say provide the address to receive the inscription. Make sure it's this wallet here. Once you do that, all right, so it's actually more money than I actually have. So I have to take one off. Boom. $16.11. Submit invoice. Make sure I pay with my. I pay with my wallet because I already have money there. Boom. There it is. Pay with Unisat wallet. That. All right, this should pop up. So now seems like i don't have enough since i don't have enough i could eat two things i could eat to the gas come down or i could just delete one of the uh back net directly so six was too much let's see how much gas came Fourteen bucks. Let's go. I could actually add one. Let's do seven. So, yeah, still six. All right. Let me stop playing. Hit. Hey, with that. Sign. All right. So now I'm about to get this new token on the what you call them for for the freezy. Um. And again, I have no clue what type of token. This. I'm just doing this since you guys uh requested the video. Because remember, you need to have points in order for you to trade at least from the beginning. Now, it looks like they may have changed it and that's why I say, hey, make make sure you, uh, you try to at least buy it first and just to see. Let's see, oh, I gotta type it. See, that's what I mean by like, it is buggy. Go. All right, these are all my other transaction of these tokens, so I gotta wait for it to confirm. So it may take a little bit or it may not. So now some people say make uh whenever you're inscribing, try to pick the fastest one. Um I mean I didn't choose to do that. Um so, and also another thing too, uh, whenever you look at what's in progress, try to find one that is not like almost finished. Like, let's say like this one, 99.99, something like that. Like you want to try to stay away from something like that. Um, now, the next thing too, uh, ordinalwallets.com is another thing. I know I'm like all over the place, but... Um, yeah again i'm not an expert in this i'm just sharing with you guys like how i was able to do it. so whenever i connected my wallet i actually used um, i imported i used my unisat wallet and this is if you're having issues as far as receiving um your deposit because you do have to transfer um, money or bitcoin um to this wallet now if you're doing it directly from an exchange um let's say you're trying to you know do it directly from exchange like some exchanges may not accept a what's the name t post or taproot wallet and if they do not accept a taproot wallet you could do one of two things this is just for the work around it. You could go here and type in your legacy wallet and see like, especially for, I know for crypto.com, whenever I was sending it, 
uh, my Bitcoin, it would not let me actually, um, it would not let me take uh, send it direct to my Taproot wallet. So I had to send it to this wallet. Then from that wallet, you could transfer it here. So it would be a little bit of a fee. Or you could, once you get your wallet connected to um, Wallet Ordinal uh, or Ordinal Wallet, you could actually buy the Bitcoin directly on here using, um, I think, I want to say MoonPay is the service. And once you do that, you're going to be able to purchase it um, outright. Um, buy it with your debit or credit card. Then that balance automatically come here to your tap root wallet and make sure when you connect it, this is what you're connecting it to. And from there, you would be able to purchase. So um, last thing too, before I let you guys go, this is getting a little bit longer. Uh, you could find which market some of these tokens uh, are on. So let's look at Pepe real quick. So right now, the too prominent market as far as with liquidity and that's another thing too guys liquidity is not the best with some tokens i like bone liquidity is not the best and again this is just more of a degen play for me so i'm not um i won't stress this enough uh, but right now on unisat it's the cheapest and you have on ordinal wallets 55 cents and notice too whenever you're uh, people are buying or whenever um, you know it's not like a standard liquidity pool like you get to pick and choose which one or how much uh, you're going to buy at a certain price these are people who are doing it's almost like a peer-to-peer -peer as of right now so this is actually taking it back to when bitcoin used to be like a peer-to-peer -peer, um trading without no liquidity pool and i made the video earlier talking about how uh a liquidity pool uh for some of these tokens are coming so so just keep that in mind guys um and that's pretty much it uh, once you go to buy you just again it's like how you do a regular wallet confirm once that's done you can see it within your wallet um, it might go to the mempool, and if it does go to the mempool, it may just take a while for the transaction to actually come. But just be patient. Um, if you have any question, any technical question about this, I may not be the best person to help you. So you may have to join the Discord to be able to ask um, some of the questions, uh, some of the technical questions. But other than that, guys, um, this is how I was able to do it. Again, forgive me for being all over the place. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for you. This is Random Arts Guys signing off. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.